Tony Clark at CNN Center. NASA is trying once again to launch the shuttle Discovery. It was two days ago that they tried to uh, launch Discovery, but the launch failed 11 seconds before the, uh, the scheduled launch time. This is a live picture of Discovery. The launch is scheduled for 1.29. You, you can see the countdown clock ticking off the final minute and 30 seconds. There are five crew members on board for a planned eight-day mission. It is called a mission to planet Earth. It is a mission to study the Earth's protective ozone layer. All of the astronauts have been at the Cape since the uh, scrub mission on uh, early, early Monday. Right now, NASA engineers think they have the problem taken care of. It was a faulty circuit that made it indicate that there was a valve that was open that, that was not. That's the reason for the last uh, scrub. This is the third time NASA has tried to launch a, a, a shuttle. The shuttle Columbia was scrubbed on its launch attempt uh, back two weeks ago. Then, as I say, earlier this week, Discovery's launch uh, was scrubbed. So now they're counting down the last uh, 45 seconds. Let's listen in and watch for these last few seconds. When we get the go for auto sequence start. CLS is go for auto sequence start. 25. T minus 20 seconds. 15. T minus 10, 9, 8. We have a go for engine start. 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. We have ignition. We have liftoff of Discovery on the second mission to Planet Earth research flight. Roll program, Houston. Roger, roll, Discovery. Houston now controlling. Discovery is underway and it's rolled on course for a 57 degree orbit. The engines on board Discovery now throttling back two thirds throttle to prepare the spacecraft to pass through the area of maximum air pressure and go supersonic. now traveling 1,000 miles an hour, three miles east of the launch pad, altitude six miles. Discovery, go at throttle up. Roger, go at throttle up. Three engines on Discovery now back at full throttle. Good hydraulics, good electrical systems. One and a half minutes since launch, Discovery's already burned more than two and a half million pounds of propellant and weighs less than half of what it did at liftoff. Altitude now 15 miles, 12 miles east of the launch pad. Discovery traveling 2,050 miles an hour. Flight control is now standing by for burnout and jettison of the so twin solid rocket boosters. That uh, burst you saw were the solid rocket boosters, as you can see them flying off to the side as those are jettisoned. Now the shuttle Discovery runs on its uh, three main engines as it heads up to orbit. This is only the eighth time out of uh, 54 shuttle launches that has occurred at night. It is being done at night. It is being launched at night to get the shuttle Discovery in a position so that the astronauts and, more importantly, the instruments on board will be able to see sunrise in the northern hemisphere and sunset in the southern hemisphere. It's all part of the astronomy uh, and uh, atmospheric studies that are being done. This is a, a mission that is primarily designed to look at the Earth's protective ozone layer. There will be readings of the gases in the stratosphere and also measurements of the sun that uh, 
that will be taken during this eight and, and potentially nine day mission. This is the second time the Atlas uh, equipment, it is known as Atlas equipment uh, in the shuttle's payload bay has been used. The last time on one of these mission to planet Earth's uh, shuttle missions occurred just about a year ago. In fact, one of the crew members, Mike Cole, is uh, a crew member on this mission and was also a crew member on the Atlas mission a year ago. There is one woman on board the shuttle, Ellen Ochoa. She is the first Hispanic woman to uh, fly into space. Of the five crew members, three are veterans, two are rookies. They will divide into two teams, enabling them to work round the clock. One uh, three astronaut uh, team, one uh, with two astronauts. Most of the time, they will be uh, what is often called station tending. They, they will be tending the equipment that is in the shuttle's payload bay. That equipment is really controlled by uh, people, scientists on the ground. They will just be making sure that the, uh, the astronauts will be making sure that everything is working properly throughout the, the eight to nine day mission. They will also be using a variety of different equipment on board the shuttle, running, running some uh, tests and, and trying out a camera that's been tried once before. It's known as the uh, Hercules camera. It is a camera that when it takes a photograph of uh, Earth, it also indicates the latitude and longitude, the location of the, the area being uh, photographed. That's an experiment being done for the Defense Department. Let's, let's listen in for just a minute. What you're seeing there are the three main engines as the shuttle uh, Discovery heads up towards its orbit. 68 miles, 168 miles east of the launch pad. Discovery now traveling 5,800 miles an hour. Discovery uh, has flown more than any other shuttle. This is the 16th flight of the shuttle Discovery. It was supposed to be the third shuttle mission of this year, but as I said earlier, Columbia, the shuttle Columbia, which was supposed to be the second in line, had a uh, problem with a valve a couple of weeks ago, and so that mission, which is uh, a mission for uh, German, uh, the German Space Agency, that mission has been delayed until around April 24th. They, uh, NASA decided to flip-flop these, uh, these two missions. The one uh, determining factor whether this will be an eight or nine day mission are the, uh, the supplies, the, they're called cryos, the, the supplies on board the, uh, the shuttle. And there you, you see the, the, shuttle, uh, the shuttle engines uh, we can no longer see. We're currently in uh, about five, almost six minutes past the launch. This will be, as I say, an eight, nine day mission. Of course, CNN will be bringing you updates throughout the mission, showing you exactly what the astronauts are doing as they continue their flight around.